next manipulating the data sequence okay here uh, first we are going to see about one example property e property and end property are keyword to declare our own properties inside we have declared int x int uh, the variable uh, x and then uh, we are uh, declaring one sequence in that sequence what is there valid uh, valid in if valid in if valid in is true um, yeah valid in is true then x is assigned to the value of pi pin now x is assigned to the value of pi pin if uh, five cycles later five cycles later out one is equal to x plus one then the property is true right you are getting uh, when uh, when is valid when is valid in is false property e evaluates to true look at this this is an important one okay now uh, this is an example here when this expression will be and uh, when this property will hold true if this valid n is, uh, is equal to zero that means uh, it is false then also it this property is true if this valid n is true then it should satisfy this condition what is this condition uh, first it has to assign x is equal to pi pin okay after five uh, five time unit delays it has to check whether pipe underscore out one is equal to x plus one so this is what happening here but uh, uh, when we will uh, use this kind of uh, expressions if data values needs to be checked in a pipeline designs a separate variable can be used to store the predicted output of the pipeline for the later comparison we discussed this point you know so during that situation we can use like this then one more example here we are using the sequences okay so sequence sequence name is sub underscore sequence one and end sequence okay and then one more sequence that name is sequence and uh, sequence one okay now inside the sequence we have declared int v1 now we just uh, concentrate on this one what's happening a first a should occur after one time unit delay a should be inverted okay if this condition satisfied then it will going to do this one what is this v is equal to v1 is equal to data in first it will assign this data in is equal to v1 then after one time unit uh, delay it uh, after one si uh, one cycle one clock tick after one clock cycle it what it is doing it is checking whether the b inv inverted b is repeating for a certain amount of time or certain number of time okay then after one clock tick again the b should be high right then b should be i and the data out is equal to v1 so this is a condition right in the sequence subsequence one sequence is having the name of subsequence one now sequence one what's happening here here first we are checking c after one clock cycle subsequence one should occur where is the where is that uh, subsequence one is defined where yeah it's defined here right so okay then after one clock cycle what's happening this do one is a double equal to v1 it is checking whether these two are same okay now look at here here we will get error why since v1 is not visible where v1 uh, is declared v1 is declared in the another uh, subsequence where here so this v1 is local to this sequence subsequence one it is not visible to here because this is a local one right that's why so to access the local variables of a subsequence use local variable as a argument getting this one 
so if you want to access this kind of local variable then it is better to pass this variable as an argument to this sequence you getting now you go back to the first point what is use the use of system variable static system variable variable in preset only one copy exists if data values needs to be checked in a pipeline design a separate variable can be used to store the predicted predicted output of the pipeline for a later comparison but this method is a complex and error prone to overcome the problem local variables are used this local variables okay so here from this example what we uh, what we learned so if you are declaring a v1 as a local variable then that uh, the the visibility of this local variable is will not come into the sequence one sequence okay in this uh, property declaration layer so multiply clocked sequences are built by concatenating singly clocked sequences using the single delay concatenation operator if you look at this example you will get this one see here we are using clock 0 and clock 1 okay now we are making it as a multiple clock support how by using this concatenation delay operator okay is a uh, here mo more than that mo it moves the time to the nearest strictly subsequent passage of clock one what it means you know support pa pass uh, this is a uh, clock zero okay clock zero is like this and uh, the signal zero should occur after the passage of clock zero zero seven occur and uh, yeah suppose we may have so many edges so many passages of clock but which passage of uh, clock one it will take the nearest one that is what the point here if s1 and s2 sequence sequence expressions if s1 and s2 sequence expressions with no clocking events then the multiply clock the sequence is you getting this one here yeah? if y this is a uh, sequence s1 and sequence s2 okay so mo both are uh, sequence expressions with uh, no clocking events then the multiply clocked sequence is this one you getting suppose this s1 and s2 is not at all matching then this kind of assignment is no illegal one s1 and s2 different sequences if these two sequences are not at all matching then we should not go with this kind of assignments it's an illegal one next other than uh, ash1 um, delay con uh, concatenation operator are uh, illegal if you are uh, other than uh, the ash1 double ash1 or illegal one for example uh, double ash0 and double ash2 intersect these are all illegal things the examples for illegal double ash one is one clock cycle we can use only one clock cycle yeah that is the restriction here in multi clock support we should use only this kind of things and uh, in the in the in that example what we have seen here s2 and s2 contain empty match that's why it is an illegal but it is uh, legal to use this kind of delay but look at here here we have used uh, uh, ash ash 0 and then ash ash 2 then intersect okay that's why these are all the examples for legal multi clock 